We are at Tylee's shop in Taipei. They have, as you can see, all the all the European classics. St. Dupont, Parker, um, all the original Montegrappas also. They have very stylish duo folds. Because we are in Game of Thrones season, Yes, I did check out the paper. Actually, I already went shopping. So I'm doing the video after I already raided the paper and the ink section. And um, I am tempted by a pen that I will show you in a little minute. Ooh, look at this. I have this the, a sister to this pen. This is a vintage Wall Ever Sharp pen from the 1920s. Um, I can't remember the name of this brown's a pen but they these are usually really interesting so they have a mix everywhere in the shop of old and new um and it's a lot of fun and all the nice posters that go well with the pen they have here a nice selection of auroras auroras and um i'll show you the one that the pen that is tempting me or the pens that are tempting me but i didn't buy them yet I'm still here for a couple of days, so I'm thinking about it. Montegrappas, a lot of Montegrappas. And, oh, they have Bennu pens now, by the way, which are very fun. Um, a little bit wild. Visconti, all sorts of Visconti, including, by the way, I'm noticing this. Yes, I did look at the Taiwan pens. So I almost bought an SK SKB. So that's one of the pens that I'm very tempted about. Um, and yeah, so that one's really tempting. They have diplomats, a lot of diplomats. Hola, Saida, ¿cómo estás? Um, I'm in Tai Li's shop in uh, Taipei. So we, let's start with the Thai, first Taiwanese pens that they have. Hello, Farid. Um, so TA plus D is a Taiwanese brand and these are aluminum pens and it has a bamboo stopper so for the pencils and the ball points it's a click but they also make fountain pens see it's quite nice how long have I been in the shop quite a lot of time in the shop so me in a pen shop means at least one hour um, yeah I'm actually even wearing the shop bag see this is my bag See, I'm, wearing, I'm even wearing the soft bag right now. So, yeah, I've been here for a while. So, this is another uh, Taiwanese brand which makes pens out of concrete. And that sounds completely insane. I haven't touched them yet, so I don't know if how heavy they are. Um, this is MMH, which is another local brand. And then we have the Y Studios, which we see very often in Europe but they are always a stylish regardless of where we see them. Um, they also have Waterman, which I'm going through very quickly because these I have a lot of in France. Then we have a few other original brands like Saka, which I did not know of before. This is a triangle pen with a very interesting shape. Um, they have a few original Viscontis, Lambrou, um, these are the newer Wall Eversharps, Auroras, Simonic, AS Simoni Club, for those who are fans of the brand. They have them here in Taiwan, which is really insane. And the newest Furore or Craze in Europe, they have them also in Taipei. These are the Leonardo, and I just recently received mine. It is awesome. I will do a post about it very soon. Porsche, Yardoled, George Jensen, Carandash, Schaefer, because Schaefer is everywhere, Lamy, because, well, Lamy, right, everywhere. And then we get to something very interesting. So they have a lot of sailor pens, for those of you who are fans of the brand. I, they have even a few original ones that you don't see every day. The pink gold, the rose gold and uh, blue. Yes, hello Kobe, right? Um, they also have Kobe inks downstairs, which we will see soon. And then we move on to what I actually prefer. Oh, sorry, and I skipped this. Up here, there are more sailor pens, including some limited edition 
Um, so I'm showing you the proske, which is also from Nagasawa. And then we move into platinum territory, and they have the anniversary silver edition, which is beautiful. And they also have the white one that was given during the event, which is quite nice. And then they have all of these. Hello, Methanius. Um, they have all these. They even have the platinum ink that was made with uh, uh, what five percent water from uh, Fuji or whatever that was, um, which is an interesting story. They also have pilot pens here at the bottom. Um, so two of the pens that I'm interested in getting are the green and the white uh, platinum because I'm considering getting a ultra uh, ultra extra fine since I'm starting to draw and on the other extreme um, a coarse nib a C nib because well if I give it to my favorite nibmeister uh, nibs on point well he is probably going to do something very fun with it so this is something that is on my list but I did not buy it yet and these are pilot maquillage the silver editions which we have in France uh, Heinlein edition which I've never seen before is a f set of few beauties including this one in the middle which is a Stipula Brunileschi yeah C nibs are awesome right um, and so I'm very tempted to get this one as well because I have the Tierra di Siena which is like the amber colored sister to this pen so i'm very tempted by that one they also have dual folds and the other before we go downstairs they also have a mont blanc section which is a lot of fun look at that ink bottle those are real collector's editions the one on the top the albert einstein as well yeah mont blanc right um and they have a very nice selection with a series of nice inks that go with right they have pens made specifically for Tylee's shop. The bags, like the one I have, I got the one on the right, uh, the left, sorry, this one. Um, and then they have all of the Opus 88s, which are local pens, which we know in the West. Then they have a number of other pens that are specific to Tylee's shop. Um, Twisby, of course, not to be missed in Taiwan. Um, Kaweko, which is German, but also present. Here they have a nice presentation of Twisbees, 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 Cross. Though for the Marvel fans, uh, superheroes everywhere. Yeah, okay. Enso, because Enso Puma is everywhere. And then here we get to see also some of the Tylee shop specials. And then we get to go downstairs. So they have all these really beautiful Italian uh, seals for wax, right? Really nice wax seals. I don't know who makes these for them, but they are very nice. Here they have uh, brass pens and accessories, different kinds. They have, so I kept looking at these. So this one is really insane. It has very cool iridescent uh, shimmer, hollow shimmer in a pink resin and these are horns but these uh, horn pens etc are all um, brush they're brush pens so I'm not sure I would use it enough and so that's why I'm not getting it even though it was very tempting uh, still more stuff to consider they have pen and then the paper section right hi Marimo so all of you who joined me later um, we are at Tai Li's second shop in Taipei, in the Dan district of Taipei. And we checked out the pens upstairs and now we are checking the paper section, which is really cool. Um, they have a lot of uh, paper that is specific to the store and also these conifers that uh, I know my friend Double Bra, oh, sorry. Sorry about that pause. So these are all really cool, especially if you want to practice your uh, calligraphy if in Mandarin or in Japanese, um, which I can't do, but I did take some of Tai Li's paper. They have a series of notebooks. Uh, these, I believe, are local brands. Um, I brought bought some of these in November and they're really nice. They carry most of everything by Rodia, 
they have i don't know if you can see it there midori at the bottom yeah exactly travel <laughs> traveler's journal um they have nice books on calligraphy including this one which is uh sorry this one which is actually a french book translated and i think that's awesome and they have really good books on calligraphy both that are all translated in mandarin but some of these are international references and that's really cool they have everything by bortoletti like everything like if you think of a bortoletti product and you're dreaming about it they have it they have a ton of other notebooks on calligraphy so these are calligraphy specific notebooks then they have more life paper so i have this one since november and i just bought uh this one the 1240 which are great for calligraphy oh the, are these Tomoe River. Uh huh. I did not pick up on that. And they have these, which are also great for calligraphy. And uh, yeah, I really like this section, basically. Um, more calligraphy paper. Um, so here, they, so these are some more local pens. This is SKB. Um, I looked at this. I don't know if you can see my hand. This black pen here. Um, which is um, which is really nice, but it's brass. It's full brass, and that's really heavy. I also really liked this pen here, the ones that are in wood, made out of wood. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but it's an octagonal pen, and it's actually quite nice. But I'm thinking about it. It's a little bit like this one, but with uh, golden tips. These are really nice. Um, and I'm also considering... I was also considering this one, but the it has brass in the section and it has brass in the uh, top at the bottom finial. And when I'm writing with it, it's a little bit too heavy on the back for me because my hands are too small. Um, so there you go. They also have these uh, hand script pens, which are really cute. I like this pink one which is a really cool pen if you want to use it with your Midori. They are very portable, they're actually sized for the Midori, but the nib is a bit too dry for me and I'm more tempted by the pens I saw upstairs, to be honest. And then here they have more pens. Okay, Pierre Cardin, Stilos. Um, yeah, so you get the gist. Um, I kind of skipped this, sorry. They have Pantone cups, mugs, everything. They have nibs, they have coloring pencils. They have cases for your pens. They have erasers. They have those metallic calligraphy pen pens, pearlescent pens that everybody wants when you're doing calligraphy in like all the colors. Um, they also have these pen cases, like this one, that are made by locally by a Japanese lady, and these are really cool. I'm actually also considering coming back to get one of these. I'm just thinking about it because I have a lot of pen cases at the moment. Um, and they also have the ones made, I think these are by Pilot, but I'm not, or for Pilot, I'm not sure. Um, they have, so this is special for the nib section. They have Pilot Petite cartridges so you don't actually need to buy all the pens you can just get the cartridge and so i'm taking some of these pinks they have colty cartridges so colty is a local taiwanese brand um i have these at home which is the only reason why i'm not buying more right now uh fabric castell everything including the these are a collector's edition that re uh is a basically a rep a replica of the original set of uh, pencils when they made the first uh, selection with all the different grades um oh they do sell this well cool we need to tell the nib section that you can just buy the cards they also have these skb uh pens that are actually student pens but they're very cool they have all of these they have every kind of prep pilot preppy you can imagine all of them um like all of these i would have loved to get the sailor uh, italic nibs but they didn't have those anymore they sold out um but basically i got one kakuno that's clear in a medium because we just don't have them in france so or at least if we do i've never seen them uh swiss pens and then we get to my favorite section inks right so all these inks and um so they have all these european brands all of them like literally like 
check out all these diamine inks all of these diamine beautiful diamond inks some of them with the old boxes too by the way which i think is very cool they also have really interesting things like uh, george jensen which we don't see in europe but they have them uh dupont in the two presentations so the old bottles and the new ones which are absolutely gorgeous these are some of the most beautiful bottles out there. Yeah, inks, right? Um, they have all of the Pilot inks also. Jacques Herbin. Gotta love my friends at Jacques Herbin. Uh, Jacques Herbin. Stipula inks. Which some of these are really nice, by the way, um, if you haven't tried them. Yardolet and Bortoletti. Um, they have the big bottles for Jacques Herbin, which you only see in calligraphy shops and art shops in France and all of the Girvin. And then here, these are actually really interesting. These are local inks um, by, a brand, by the same brand, SKB. Um, I have uh, mustard leaf and tea at home because I bought them in November and I really like them. These are Colty inks also, Taiwanese. More diamine. <laughs> And then we get to Lennon Toolbar. And so if you've never tried a Lennon Toolbar ink, you are missing out because these are insane. There's a lot of blues, I know, but these are one of the few lines of full on blues where I actually have two and I love them. Um, oh, sorry, almost fell. And um, they have these, which are the limited edition for spring. I only got the purple, which is called Bretti. No, uh, beet tree sorry and then they have these which are waterproof for those of you who like waterproof monteverdi lots of monteverdi cross uh, including probably cross purple and if you want to see, know what a perfect purple ink is like that's it uh schaefer lamy waterman of course they have a uh, rather unique diatomentous inks here and Tasha, but Ebi was sold out so I could not get Ebi. Instead, I got Momo because it's hot pink and I love it. Um, Edelstein, Hiroshizuku, Pelican, more, more diatomentous, including some of these which are actually limited editions uh, specific to China or Taiwan. See, these are local only. So if you are in the region, you should check those out. Um, and then Kobe. These are Kobe inks. I got one Kobe ink, uh, Kitano Pearl Grey, because I didn't have it yet. And I love that grey. They have all the Kyonotos, except the new ones, the ones that are a different line made out of uh, natural materials like moss and things like that, which is the ones that I want to try next. Um, platinum inks, including my favorite Cyclamen Hot Pink. Pilot inks, Kaweco inks. Uh, they seem to only have two of the Aubergine RNK, so if you have not gotten that one, check it out. Um, KWZ RNK uh, ladies selection. And oh, I forgot to check these out. So these here, so sorry about that pause. So this is Inkwell which is a very nice uh, Taiwanese brand. I have a few of these inks and they are really new, light. They are really nice. They have these shimmer, but it's a really nice textured. I, how did I miss this? Eye paper made an ink. So eye paper is a Taiwanese paper brand. Their notebooks are really cool. I, and uh, they yeah. also have these uh, calligraphy inks. So these are dip pen only but they are really nice. Uh, so it's a goma arabica, simply with pigments at the bottom. Um, they are very nice. I shook this one like there's no tomorrow about an hour ago and it's still floating. Inkwells, yeah, those, were, those, those wash out really well. The platinum uh, inks, more pelican, more diatomentous story, Storia inks and then <coughs> sorry I'm gonna go really quickly over color verse <coughs> sorry so we can focus on these which is a new Taiwanese brand that I did not know before called Kala and they make these three lines so they have the neon um, the neons line I am leaving with this one called boogie 
because this is very close to my favorite color. It's a very magenta-ish kind of purple. A, little, a bit more purple than my favorite color, but close. Um, and then they have these Nostalgia lines, which are... Uh, so, hold on. Let me go back to the neons because they're, the tags, the, the bottles are just so pretty. Joy is super fun. Skinny, dude, did it, groovy, and foxy. Um, and then they have the Nostalgia line line which has really funky names so blue lagoon vapor or moonlight tide or white dawn or hawaiian eruption so you get the gist it's like traveling nostalgic thoughts so i got mongolian sandstorm which is a light purple this bermuda mystery was the other one i was tempted with the bottles look like this and then they have uh, another nostalgia line, but the, the, all the names of the inks are based on stones. And I am getting... I just got Spectrolite. A spectrolite, sorry. So there you go. So this is all the ink section. And then we move back to pencils and a few cool pens in the middle. And that's it. So there you go. Hi, Inkaholic. I'm just about done with the ink section, the detailed review of the ink section of Tai Li's shop in Taipei. And uh, this is the end of the shop. So there you go. I didn't buy that much because this is the first pen shop I'm checking out since I got here. And I'm very tempted by that stipula, but I need to think about it because it would be it's not like a local pen it's just a pen that i'm tempted by because i have the brunelleschi if you look for stipula brunelleschi uh you'll get my hashtag and you'll see what pen i'm talking about so guys i'm about to go so we can keep uh exploring the city thank you for joining and i'll see you soon thank you guys bye